I would say the ideal team to face would be the teams that I've played early, like Kemri and Nurgle, where they don't have block. And they've got some strength, but then you've got more strength. But, um, yeah, exactly, a low agility team with no block or dodge. Whereas these guys have got block and tackle, so it's fucking rough in it. But then at least, at least you can stick the ogres on the uh, on the dwarves, but then they can minus two dice you. Claw. Two claws. Claw my blow. A bunch of guys. He's got a shit record though, so hopefully, hopefully he sucks. Don't even know what I get. Maybe it's just a fucking babe. Well, 20k is not much, so I should spend 100. Rather than just fouling every single turn. Or a second reroll. Second reroll seems better, doesn't it? Ooh. Two. Two babes. Seeing as I'll get a lot of people knocked out. One, I'll get a lot of snot. Oh no, the snot as well. We'll just get cast. Two babes could be alright. Extra reroll would be handy against all the tackle. But at least this way, if the ogres, the I mean, both the ogres and the snotlings are less likely to be knocked out because they're more likely to get cast, aren't they? Right, I'm gonna go for the fucking the dumbass bribe and just try to fucking make him concede. Yeah, but the thing is, though, Ceremal, <laughs> your 1,800 ogres are a lot better than a, hundred, uh, a, thousand, than a thousand ogres, but they're not as much better as a 1,800 Dark Elf team is than a thousand team TV Dark Elf, is it? That's the thing. So they, they get comparatively worse um, to other teams of the same TV. Is, is kind of like the point, in my opinion. Strength 3 knob! A strength 3 knob that does cost as much as a war dancer, yeah. <laughs> Win the toss, make three dice blocks, foul him, hope he concedes. Receiving in the rain. He's only got 11 guys. Fucking let's go. Great tackle bull. It's going to be a menace. Hopefully he's a conceding type of guy. I mean, he's lost six games, so maybe he's a conceder. I should have checked to see if he was a conceder. Man, I think I would have still gone for the same, the same strat, even if he doesn't concede. It's the first time for everything. A bad time to go through an ultra wormhole here. Ah, 
Right, what we got? He's got a guard in the middle. I got no guards anymore. Block guy. Can, oh god, I can just blitz a bull. Blitz the bull, foul the bull, eh? That seems good to me. That's a surefire way to get a concession victory. I kind of wanted to blitz the hob, to be honest, because obviously more, much more chance of just removing him and getting him to go down players. But the bull's got the payoff, hasn't it? For the, if I foul the bull and kill his bull, I might just concede. This is a bit shit. So much for fucking killing anybody. Gonna push him in a further block, and I'm like, and then I realised it was a fucking snotling. Dead. <laughs> Good. A victory for women <laughs> everywhere. I guess he's just going to blitz a snot on three dice with block and tackle. But, after he does that, um, I can try and get them based up on Olga's. I mean, his, his fucking balls... A bigger threat to actually getting the ball and everything, isn't it? Concede your cunt. <laughs> White Knight Ogre. <laughs> Picked it up in the rain. Outrageous, isn't it? Outrageous dice rolling abilities here. It's great getting badly hurt every game. Oh, 
Broken ribs this time. Yeah, I was a bit shit giving up that, but I thought if I didn't give up that, he'd just fucking two dice, two dice the ogre with a fucking claw mighty blow, and I thought I'd rather lose a snot than a ogre. I didn't take agility nor clangers. I took uh, I took break tackle instead because I thought taking agility on him would be like taking extra arms, except it costs forty TV instead of twenty. So <laughs> all right, he's run away with his claw. That's good. That fucking hobgob's getting ruined. Just quietly. It's just. I, I, the ball would have been good for a first turn, I think. But now I think it's just getting men up, isn't it? And, and obviously the, the hobs are the best way to. To do that. Oh, you lucky fuck. I'm really going to push me up against the sideline, this, but probably worth it. Gaping hole here. So I think to stop the gaping hole, let's screen with ogres. This is a pretty nice cage now, isn't it? With a with a diving tackle and ogre corners. That's not bad. Foul the cunt. <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. I wish I could have matched it with a foul. Now he's going to two dice with claws and fucking shit. Got to keep the ogres together. So we can't just uh, pick them off with claw. But then I had to do a bit of safe moves first, didn't I? Because I thought to myself, if they're fucking... Don't make this knockdown. Like if I triple skull it, I'm fucked. But maybe I should have. But if I triple skull it, I triple skull it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it is, yeah. You're just hanging out there, about to get claw mighty blowed. <laughs> Unlucky Tony. <laughs> To be fair, that's four of his guys out of the fight now. So can overpower him down this flank. Didn't even get the power. He's gonna he's gotta he's gotta greed it. He just had to. <laughs> Fucking terrible play. He gets a stun. Good for you. Falling a stunned thick skull guy. Shame he uh, didn't get sent off. Also with an 11 man team. Just quietly. It's a dirty player though, isn't it? That's good. <laughs> Evil cunt. Wow. Wow, he should be banned from Champ's Ladder. I shouldn't have to see words like that. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> Get the fuck away from his claw guy. Oh man, if this Snotling had dirty player, it'd, it'd be devastating. This would have been two KOs. But then, if me auntie was me uncle, something, something, something. Oh yeah, he exposed to snot. Oh shit, that wasn't clever, was it? He's hit Snotlings twice and cast them both. Uh, which I feel is a little lucky. But I shouldn't have exposed him then. Fair enough. Mummy Dode, what does he fuck on me? Pissed off about that, I've let him blitz snotlings twice and he's cast them both. I mean, chances are he wouldn't cast them, right? He did get lucky. Come on, get sent off, you idiot. <laughs> Good.
Oh, good job it was... This fucking thing where you click them and it doesn't click really pisses me off. Just quietly. The ogres have been very well behaved today. Not today, this game. Finally. No, it's not so unlikely to result in injury, but it's not that likely, is it? I mean, even if he auto-knocks down and auto-injures, even if he auto-injures, it's still like a 9+, plus, a 8+, plus to Kazlan. So. <laughs> Thanks, Harry, Kurt. <laughs> Backup starts 3. But now two are gone, so there's only one backup snot. And the LOS hits will be horrible, but I mean, I just want to foul until I use the bribe. Gave away a block, get knocked down, but it means I get to hit the, uh, hit the ball, doesn't it? I might get to hit the uh, claw guy as well. Yeah, four two two. Been a been a bad day of blood bowls. So, oh, there's no reroll. Come on, fail one of these. Oh, you little shit. I mean, he's down to nine for the rest of the game. Best case for him. Fucking hell, double GA fight, one dice blitz. And it's a pow. Fucking hell, because of course it is. <sighs> Good. Fucking shithead. I guess I just blitz the claw guy then. But on the other hand, the score's like so fucking difficult with ogres. Um, I feel like maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Just putting one on him means he needs to get two assists in, doesn't it? So, so that's actually not that bad. Hmm.
<laughs> Sorry that I'm talking shit. Um, yeah, yeah, it was the, it was the, uh, it was a, it was just a dwarf blocker that GFI'd. Yeah, he made a lot of GFIs with blockers. I haven't failed a bonehead this game, no. No, I don't think there's been one failure of a bonehead so far. Which is probably contributing to it going quite well. At this particular moment in time. Tony's about to get back into the game next turn. After he's cast a hobgoblin <laughs> with that send up. It was a skull. He's out of rerolls. Fucking hell. Bull's on the verge of getting surfed here. He's got he's gotta do something with it. <laughs> uh, oh, tough choice. Let's go for that one. <laughs> right, so he can 2D him, 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 he can base him. I should have, no, no. So just hit the uh, hit the old uh, dude. Mm. Pretty tough, isn't it, to keep and keep this bull under control, really. This going stupid is just a disaster. So is this. So they they don't just don't get the block. <laughs> Stunned the ball. All right, that makes things easier. For Nuffle and Ducky. <laughs> yeah, he had a chance to get two dice in the ball there, didn't he? That one dice. But that was a great, uh, a great foul in the end.
ballsy uphill because you know obviously ogres still have mighty blow themselves don't they GFR that were you wrong? <laughs> like no real reason. <laughs> One or two dice there. Obviously, more chance of being man up if I blitz this fucking. Hobgob, but I gotta go after the danger man, haven't I? The claw guy. Actually, moved the wrong player. Um, I wanted the diamond tackle there. Gets an extra assist on the foul run. Good. <laughs> Fuck you, Stallion Steve. <laughs> Hello, Matty Boom. This this game's going great. The the games previous to this had gone a bit shit because they'd been versus like, you know, teams that are well equipped to deal with ogres. But when it's just a generic bash team that has less strength than you, you've at least got, you know, something going for you. Doesn't matter, it's only Zunk. <laughs> Shame he didn't die. I'm not gonna make a foul before the touchdown. That's a bit that's a bit leery, I think. Um, but we'll obviously try a three dice. When they've got thick skull and everything, I just don't think it's worth it. Because they haven't found the second half now as well.
<laughs> Call the ambulance. It's gonna be hard to lose now, isn't it? At the end of the day, much more comfortable playing like a bash team than an agility team. Not that Zons are an agility team, but they can dodge easily, can't they? With the dodge skill. Now the question is whether to put ogres on the LOS when he's got claw mighty blow and he can engineer two dice with claw mighty blow still got thick skull though haven't it let's put the snots on he, he could just cause three cars that would be the bad wouldn't it if he causes well I guess one, one but then one snot doesn't get hit by claw so it's either three snots or no snots. Yeah, it's true, try. There's, there's, there's still a chance of losing. Yeah. If he wasn't chaffs, it would be a lot easier because he wouldn't have the block and the tackle. To get them, but now he's he's basically guaranteed to knock over three snots with mighty blow. Whereas this is only getting two dice on the on the ogres. But then they are armor seven. But even then, he's likely to only stun them, not cast them. Down one ogre down or three snots? I think being down three snots down would be worse. To on honestly, like seriously, because if I'm one ogre down, I still got eleven players in the pitch. If I'm th if I lose three snots, then I've only got like you know nine men on the pitch. Yeah, the worst case scenario. I've got the apple if he makes the cars here. Maybe the place to put all six ogres on the LOS. But he's got that much guard. Now but to knock down all of them. Yeah, and block ogres is seventy five instead of fifty five instead of seventy five. But you lose more if they're knocked down. I think I'll put the shit rogers on the LOS and then hold. Yeah, he's going to make two claw blocks. So getting to make another mighty blow block isn't that bad, is it, for the chance of putting all six ogres on the line? Might have, put, might have been best to put all six ogres on the line. Don't know. It's going to be a bit scary, though, isn't it, now? A bit scary. The do bless skulls. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, I guess if he fucking just Kaz's two here or something. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, if there was some old guard. <coughs> guard got killed though, didn't he? Maybe I should have gone guard on, instead of the second break tackle. Maybe it should have been a second guard. Just to make sure I'm not left without guard at all. Yeah, perfect defence could be nice, yeah.
He's taking his time for just making some two dice blocks, isn't he? <laughs> Classic touch bar. Didn't make much... <laughs> After the fucking turn one, Chaos Dwarf, only fucking... The only removal was his sent off Hobgoblin. Why like only Kaz? That's fucking crazy. Didn't Kaz anyone after that? Might have struggled to crack the line of six ogres. No, a block would have been alright. Not good. Phew. Claw's marginally better than Mighty Blow, isn't it? But if he does, I know he hasn't got the movement to get around. Alright, block, block wouldn't have saved this one. Doesn't matter. Glorious. I think skins. Like two heads is obviously good. A two heads, a two heads underworld goblins really good. Well, I say really good, not that good. Plus two movements. Plus two movement. You can just roll edge on a skink and then it fucking blows away an underworld goblin, doesn't it? I want to go all men's now. Because I think now it's kind of worth the risk. When it's kind of like... Uh... Putting the pressure on for the touchdown, isn't it? In an actual real game situation now it is, isn't it? Easy to crack the outside one, which is why it's the block to make it harder to crack. Shame he's still got nine. Oh, I just remember putting a good armor pass. <laughs> yeah, he did only block with one claw, yeah. Yeah, you can't throw a scheme, that's true. Yeah, plus you, you've got, you know, it depends whether you take them in context of their team or not. Obviously, skinks are on a much better team than Underworld, but if, like, an elf team could have an Underworld Goblin, giving him, being able to give an Underworld Goblin horns, two heads and wrestle, well, horns and two heads on normals, Something like Woody's would like that ability just to fucking go ham if they wanted, wouldn't they? Holy ducky, son of Nuffle, please grant us a blitz. Amen. Yeah, quick snap wouldn't be good, would it? But it was to it was to make it harder from the crack the uh, crack the LOS, wasn't it? You can't really have both. And it, w it probably wouldn't be that hard. It'd be pretty bad. <laughs> It'd be pretty bad. Then the middle one, especially. Maybe the middle one should have been one back. Yeah, this one probably should have been one back in case of quick snap. But obviously these two were safe, and then it was only the edge ones. Would be able to be hit anyway.
Maybe I should just put three on the LOS and then two ogres behind to protect instead of protecting with snots. Scrub flash is somewhere, he might be on the he might be on the bench. There he is, scrub flash. Get a blitz now is alright because he's free with all debt to activate. Yeah. Yeah, without double skin development isn't great, no. But it's still still pretty good though, isn't it? Still sidestep sprint your feet is still fine. Then their movement eleven instead of the movement six that goblins are. That's a nice kick. <laughs> As long as he doesn't go out. As long as he doesn't get a touchback. That's a pretty fucking good kick. Or catch it. Nah, shit. It's always a fucking touchback, isn't it? <laughs> Never be able to do <laughs> 1D piece of GFI. Just roll any dice, really. <laughs> Oh my god, third block on a snot and third cars. That's that is ridiculous to be honest. Because he doesn't even auto armor break, so he should it should have been like half of them. Like less than half. And it's not, it's been three for three. Pretty annoying. Re rolling there, greeting that, kind of. Essentially. Yeah, bow. Because now he's forcing himself to play Bloodborne instead of just potatoing. But then, he didn't come close to turning us over, did he? So... Follow wouldn't have helped though, because I had a snotling to uh, to counter the assist. What do you mean with the uh, that one dice? But then he hasn't got guard. Shouldn't have put his guard on the LOS then. He should have put him on the ground. He could have got a guard in. to try and protect the snots now then after that every time he's blocked a snot he's cast and that is I know it's not crazy you know but it's annoying <laughs> it's still pretty lucky pretty annoying oh, fuck me. the worst thing about one dice blocks like that is when they could have just made it a two dice block and just choose not to and get rewarded as a safety could blitz him and then tag him and then if these two stand up it's not easy to get the guards or anybody in to help him I think that's not a bad shot and now that that's happened maybe blitz this one make it three but Mm. 
Maybe this should just blitz to help go. Your Goliath games. Forty two percent injurious snot. Does that include break an AV or is that just Yeah, it must do, mustn't it? No. Mustn't do. No, no, that that's only after you've broken AV, it's forty two percent injurious snot, isn't it? Like, oh, it's only five. You're still going to break it. So. Yeah, 20% with each block. There you go. Then. Thank you, TLC. Because he's got to break AV as well, hasn't he? He's got to knock him over. I mean, I mean, he's got to... <laughs> Knocking him over isn't that hard, obviously, because you've got three dice with block and tackle. But you've got to knock him over. And then you've got to... Uh, break armor as well and then you've got you know there's the chance of the mighty blow being used to break armor and then not getting an injury so yeah 20% all together and he's couldn't do three in a row so it's pretty it's pretty annoying isn't it I mean you obviously you don't expect snotlings to survive but still They could have done. <laughs> they could have survived a little bit better than what they have done. I might be able to hit back this turn. Good that he's got these claw guys, but he's having a blitz with the ball because he's a strong boy. Not high. No, of course, try. But that's all I did though in the entire half was just one cars, and in fact, in ten turn, in nine turns, it's been one cars, and then he's uh, he got his own guy sent off. <laughs> Oh man. That looks ripe for a no dodge two dice on the ball, doesn't it? <laughs> Cunt! Fuck's sake. What a fucking time to go bone head. These... These brave snots now go on. Potato watch. I can't fucking believe that, man. Fuck's sake. Hey, 
exactly what Tri says, yeah. I hate re-rolling. I hate re-rolling uh, boneheads. Yeah, at least I based the ball. That's right. <laughs> That's at least something. Brave snots, yeah. He can't remove a snotling if I just remove the chance. If I make the chance zero instead of 20%, he just definitely can't, can he? That's maths. That's some dulled stats for you. Fuck, I can't believe he just gave up the two dice. Yeah, I just didn't fail anything last half, did I? That's why I start with zero rerolls, because, like... There's not much you want to fucking reroll with Ogres because they're so unreliable. You know, you're gonna bonehead. You can't really reroll the bonehead and then might roll another one on just then might roll a turnover. I mean, at least then it was unlikely to be a turnover. Would have had been double skulls. But even if I'd powered him, I thought to myself, even if I powered him, there's no recovery really, is there? So I'd rather keep the reroll for hitting his bull centaur or whatever on a later turn, on hitting the bu hitting the ball carrier on a later turn or whatever. I haven't been able to foul this half, have I? You, you know, fouled a lot this first half. I fouled a lot first half, squirrel dude. VIP squirrel dude. I fouled about eight times in the first half. <laughs> Seven times, probably. Six times, yeah, there you go. There was a lot of fouls then, but now I'm trying to defend in it, it's not easy. You re-roll that for sure. Hundred percent. Ha ha ha! Fuck you! Fuck you! Yes! It's what you fucking deserve, you little bong-eyed cunt. Right. Um. Unfortunately, I still don't get to uh too nice the ball, do I? Oh, just double GFI with this one. <laughs> Family stream. Sorry, yeah, I may have overreacted there. But, um... I kind of don't want to block here because then I, it, it knocks me off the hit on the ball, doesn't it? If it's a push. Greed is good. Oh, no, I can push him to there. Greed is right. Greed works. Oh, baby. Right. Somebody wants to go forward. A guy who can actually GFI, I guess. I guess I could base both uh, both guys and hit the bull afterwards, though. Afterwards, do this first. Do the blitz first. Double GFI. Is that a stupid move? It's risky, but there's a good payoff. Do I block him down? Like it seems they will get cars these snotlings when they get hit. But it will take them for a turn, then he can go and get the ball next turn. So yeah, okay, I think this is alright. This block's huge if this works. Huge. Break tackle, get ball. Break tackle, get ball, yeah, but 
the thing is, if I break tackle and roll a one, right, I've got to re-roll it. It also leaves his, it leaves his bull free to just come back and menace me. Whereas now if I... Uh, oh, he's got guard. Hmm. <laughs> Good foul. I didn't spot the guard. Bait tackle, get ball. Yes, I tagged the guard guy and negate the assist. Yes, I did. Yes, that is what I did. It also negates his movement, though, doesn't it, this time? That's the thing. It means he's not moving him back to, to get into the fight. Which I thought was worth it, to be honest. Even though, it's, of course, he gets a Kaz. Four out of five getting cards from punching them now. Yeah, that was it. I thought I did have to tag them because otherwise they're going to just come up and get involved. It's not going to snot. Yeah, braid tackle, get ball. Worked out all right. Just gonna go straight in for the minus two. Come on, skull. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, gonna reroll that. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who's getting fouled for grace next turn. Oh my god, it's even it's even uh last frogman on fifteen, so it'll be a level for him. Glorious. No, he's got a fucking guard there, I didn't see him. Now all that Ogre needs to do is score an HES legend for all of time. <laughs> yeah. I haven't GFI'd yet, have I? I think I probably do need the assist in. annoying Got the fucking red dice. Fucking hit it though. Oh yeah, I could have fouled the claw one, yeah. Maybe I should actually just made the GFIs to stand there. Make it either from a dodge out and hit the ball. But still, should be enough to win now, shouldn't it, at least? I was gonna win two numbers, Joe. What even is this world? <laughs> yeah. Zero hundred percent. Sugar Daddy TDs the best TDs, of course. <laughs> yes, that's true, Carl Duda, yeah.
Thanks for the bits as well, by the way. Here comes the salt stall. You might go with the dodge minus two. I don't think there's another play. Oh, there is another play. There's the uh, there's the double GFI claw palm hit. Well, claw mighty blow hit. Mm, maybe I should have fouled him. Yeah. Uphill block would have worked just quietly, wouldn't it? That being uphill, it would have worked. Silly him not even trying. Had to try. Yeah, it was great that he greed into double scores. Holy shit. I can't believe he's actually punished for his greed. It's so it's so rare that people are punished for their greed. And he was full on, full on punished. Pushing next to the other one, fuck's sake. Another gas. <laughs> right, it's still hard to lose from here though now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the safety net is finally gone with the one reroll. Oh, at least that wasn't a cast. <laughs> Yeah, at least at least it's not going to be a loss. I would I'll go so far as to say this isn't going to be a loss. Bold statement. But he literally can't even score. No, he could. He literally can't even score in two. So you know, it's it's not going to be a loss. Thanks God. <laughs> that scrub flash has he gotten taller? <laughs> mm, shit. Yeah, well, I was going to try... Well, I wasn't going to score. I was going to get fucking closer, though. No, I was going to score. One, two, three, four, five. But I couldn't. I didn't fucking make the three dice blitz, did I? Well, well made the three dice blitz, but... No, I boneheaded on the three dice blitz. And then... So that was it, wasn't it? I didn't... wasn't worth, in my opinion, worth re-rolling that bonehead. When I was still had rolled more dice after it. So, yeah, that, that was the thing. I, I really hate re-rolling boneheads. But if I'd made that three dice blitz, chances are I'd have just taken the score, to be honest. Because then 2-0 up, it is over, isn't it? I was thinking that. Yeah, six skull skulls, so who knows what the third dice would have been. I mean, not that you can judge it by what actually happened, though, isn't it? It's like That's like when people call with... Fucking 2 7 off and win against aces, and they're like, oh, who won though? But you know, it's. Hey. 
It's like you don't even like Bray Tackle. I like Bray Tackle, but it's it's risky, isn't it? Mr. Agro. Couldn't spell Agro. I feel like typing in chat. I always win when my, my opponent can't spend, spell his players' names correctly. Mr. Alcoholic. Mr. Pervy. <laughs> Mr. Methhead. Stallion Steve not had the best game, to be honest. Mr. Monoxide Poisoning. Mr. Domestic Violence. Dirty Deer. Evil Cunt. Sly Sam. This will level up Zunk if it's a Kaz. Just quietly. I think I just score then. Or, or should I say try to just score. Yes. That's Frogman. Gets it. Bit of a shit celebration. <laughs> this coach might need to be watched closely. <laughs> yeah. Like that. <laughs> Evil cunt faggo. <laughs> a grow faggo. Double G, innit? Double G. Humorous chimp. You might get a consolation here, but uh, how much will of a, how much of a consolation will it be, considering he's just been shot on by ogres? <laughs> I mean, the evil cunt one. Fair enough. You can't blame him for spelling that one wrong. He probably had to. I can just huddle together, try and make it harder to get. And the claw hits because he doesn't seem that smart at working it out. Didn't do much attrition really. That that like that first turn dead what like Taz uh, Chaw well dead in our pro use. Then his his scent off is the only attrition compared to a field of crippled snotlings. Yeah, exactly. Aggression, yeah. I was a little bit salty, BB Snort. It was just from the... Oh, fuck, I just... I just fucking hit my toes. Fuck. I was a little bit... Um, I was a little bit salty at uh, getting them... You know, just how many of them that he did. No, I don't think any are broken either, really, Clangers. But it was just how many, the percentage was, was a little bit off. Um, but, you know, yeah, that is that is the good thing. You're never too bothered about snots getting hurt. Because, uh, <laughs> the fucking, you don't really notice them when they're on the pitch anyway. <laughs> Only a little bit salty. <laughs> What's this clip? Ah, oh, fuck. No, it was the ones that... It was the, I've got tore. I just don't have toenails. It was the... Uh, it was the ones without toenails that I'd... Um, that I'd hit. It wasn't... It doesn't feel that nice when you... When you bang them off things. <laughs> oh, bang <bonnet. laughs> yeah, Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why I said that, it just it just it just came into my head. 
I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Nothing suggests I was playing against Mesut Ozil. But, um... <laughs> yeah, just fall out of the mouth. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Tony. Look, I did the ogre guide, all right? I did the ogre guide, Tony. I did the ogre guide. What more do you want from me, blood? <laughs> Can you PM me the sponsor sound, please, on Discord? Because uh, I, I, won't, I just won't be able to find it now where, where it was in Discord. If you PM me, I'll, I'll, I'll get it done. Promise. True story. <laughs> what is up with this? It's unbelievable. <laughs> It looks like he's hardly even trying to score, is he? Probably just going to get a dirty player foul in. That's all he can do. To be to be fair, though, to be fair, um, <laughs> my God. um <laughs> to be fair about uh, what was what was I talking about? Yeah, Chorf's losing the Ogres. It seems like it's ridiculous, but um, the Ogres are just strong. Like, Chorf's do struggle against higher strength teams, don't they? It's not like. It's not that easy for them. I mean, in this case, he does have a lot of guard and <laughs> claw and mighty blow. But still, it's not. I honestly think it's not that easy for the Chorf's. Because, yes, the, uh, the Chorf's murder the snots, and they did absolutely murder the snots. But um, they do struggle generally against high strength players. I mean, you still you still shouldn't lose to ogres, but you know, it's the sort of thing where I say you know <laughs> I get known for the worst possible matchup bollocks. Um, it's there's no auto wins in Blood Bowl, is there? Even even Wood Elves lose ten percent of the time to ogres. <laughs> I mean, that's really. There's really no hope for the ogres in that game. You've just got to dice them to death. Whereas in this, you've got a bit of something. You've got an ogre for each, and he's only got one bull. If he'd had two bulls, it would have been a lot harder to control. I was able to get that bull kind of tied up, wasn't I? Under control. If he had two bulls, it'd have been a bit of a nightmare. Run away. Nope. You don't want to run away? Do you want to run away? No. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yes, please. The oh, fuck I like my toes. Yeah, it were on not just both dancers, just like four players off the kickoff. Plus, remember it's it's naf style, so it's six ogres with piling on, right? So <laughs> it'll just be four removals turn one, and then uh, and then yeah, like double one into death and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be. It is it is naf style, so it's winning the toss, which happens fifty percent of the time, and then it's making a lot of cars with a lot of early cars with with piling on ogres. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Plus, they've got strip in naf style. Like he didn't even have strip ball in that, 
And in Naf style, they've got strip ball. There's just nothing. You've got no hope in Naf style. No, the, the bull can't reach. The bull, the bull can't reach, it's alright. Yeah, they were NAF stats. I'm pretty sure in Prince Augustus they were NAF stats, yeah. So, how how the uh, earth the ogres could win could win that percentage against strip ball is, is outrageous. Because they've just got nothing. Oh, I guess it depends, I guess, because some some tournaments give the ogres some extra things, don't they? So, if the rules gave ogres extra stuff for being tier 3, maybe they could have... Show hands on her. Because <laughs> you got bong eyes. <laughs> you should take the skull as a sign of respect. <laughs> I like that he's given up a mighty blow hit on his on his best player there by doing that. Yeah, his best positional, not really his best player, is it? I guess his claw mighty blows his best player. Uh, maybe it's still the. Maybe it's still the. Uh, bull. Ooh. So no three dice on him. So just a two on him. Wrestle. Wrestle into foul. Let's go. Sure feet. I don't mind. I'll do it for absolutely zero benefit. <laughs> oh, only because he had sure feet though. <laughs> GF fight the BM foul. Glorious. Ah, maybe I could have done, yeah. Maybe I could have served him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to start player points, though, didn't I? And then, and then to be empowered. Because why not? Um, Alright, so we've got nearly as many armor breaks. That was, it was crazy. He did, he did roll a lot of, uh, a lot of cars on the things. Really, really well behaved ogres. It was just the first half. They just didn't fail, did they? It was amazing the first half. And uh, good dice rolls all around. He wasn't. He wasn't very good, was he? I mean, he gave us a free two dice on the ball at one point. And he had less players though, I guess. And he, but he was fouling. He got. He shouldn't have got this guy sent off like he did. I go to full a full roster of sixteen, but there's always missed next game, so it's it's never actually sixteen. He's just missed next game. And this one is just missed next game. I might have to sack one here because would really like 14 players. So I guess one of them died just by having such a big roster. Yeah, they only got missed next games. And the last frogman, the sugar daddy leveled up. Oh yeah, maybe the 12% are just like that guy who didn't have war dancers on his wood elf team. Maybe guard, then he can break tackle guard somewhere. Or stand firm. I do like stand firm. But break tackle guard could be interesting, couldn't it? Wow, it was good to finally win a game today. <laughs> and and to be fair, played against played against Chaos Dwarves, Amazons twice, and Wood Elves. So won one, drew one, lost two is actually a pretty pretty fine record for the day, I guess. Especially if I didn't play very well. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. 
and stay fantastic.